Now let us talk about the methods that we have got in the list class. So uh, yeah, list is a collection, but uh, to refer it into an a, like in, in a programming language uh, or in Apex, basically it is a class. So uh, we need to do different different stuff when it comes to collections, right? And there are different different methods uh, which you can use, multiple methods which you can use to like do those stuffs. Here are some of the methods that you're gonna use most of the time uh, with list. So I'm gonna explain it to you in a, like just in a bit. Let's start. So the number one method is size. Uh, you've got a list and there are multiple elements that are stored into that particular list. But you do not know how many elements are stored in that list. How are you going to identify that? You're going to run a loop or something like that? No, you do not need to do that. What all you need to do is you just need to call the method size and it is going to return the number of elements that are stored into that particular list. So if in this diagram, I'm going to like write down L6 dot size, uh, then size is going to return four. This method size is going to return four because there are four elements that are stored into this particular list. So uh, yeah, this is how this one works. L6 dot size. Next, system dot debug L6 dot get two. So this get two uh, or this get method basically helps you to get the values which are stored onto that particular index. So if you want the element which is stored onto the index two. Then you'll write down l6 dot get two. So inside the parameter, you have to write down the index uh, of the value or index uh, where that value might be stored. So if you want to know that which value is stored onto the index two, you'll write down l6 dot get and then inside the index so two and it's going to return 30 as we can see in this diagram as well. So at two, we've got what? 30, right? So it's similar to that. And the next method that we have got is remove. So if you want to remove a value or a, like a variable, or like yeah, a value or an element from a list, you can use this remove method and inside the parameter, uh, like or at the place of parameter, you have to write down the index. And when you'll write down this, right, l6 dot remove two, it's going to remove the element which is there onto the index two. So what it's going to do is it will uh remove the element which is there on to this index oh, oh okay it's still a list guys it's still a list don't panic yeah so oh uh, yeah so it's gonna remove the element which is there on to this list getting it yeah so uh now like after removing what's gonna be there onto the second position what do you think or or onto the second index like will there be uh, a null value that that's going to store onto the second index or all the values will get shifted automatically or the index will change okay let me tell you what will happen so to validate it uh, what you can do is you can access the value on l6 2 and this this statement l6 uh, square bracket 2 and l6 dot get 2 are exactly similar there's no difference the output of both of these uh, will be similar because one is in a class or uh, yeah class format where we are accessing where we are calling a method and the other one is in array notation no difference so in l6 uh, 2 we'll find out 40 so what is happening let me tell you so these index will get changed so this is going to become 2 now and this is this will not uh, be in existence anymore just like this So it's gonna become like this. So on zero, we have 10, on one, we have 20, and on two, we have got 40. So this is how the changes happen inside the list at the back side. But you do not have to worry much about this. Uh, all what you, if you want, it's just about the method. If you want to remove an element from a particular index in Apex, just uh, call the remove method and it will be removed from there. Next method, clone. So clone method is basically used to clone a list uh, and put all of the values into the clone list and assign it to a different variable. So when we'll clone this list l6 dot clone, uh, when we'll assign it to l7. L7 is a new list that we are creating. Uh, this l7 will uh, like is gonna have what uh, all the values which were there in l6. So this is it's gonna be like this seven, and we have cloned this 
list first so cloning happens like this and then we're going to assign this list to this particular reference variable right so and if we'll print it it'll uh, return the output 10 20 and 40 then comes uh, the next method which is set so set is basically used to set a particular value uh, on a particular index of that particular list so if we'll set l7 uh, if we'll uh, like execute this statement l7 dot set 0 comma 50 then the first parameter that we are passing is the index of the position or index yeah index of the list on which we want to store this particular value and the value which we want to store is 50 so when we'll call l7 dot set is set then what will happen uh, like we have passed the index 0 so we want to store the information on the place of 0 so 10 will be overridden by 50 now so it will be 50 20 and 40 so it's gonna like work like that uh, when you're gonna print uh, l7 you're gonna get the output 50 20 and 40 and yeah i think you must have understood about the set method now let's move on to the next method which is very important and you're gonna use it a lot of times which is sort so sort is basically a method which sorts all the elements that you are storing into that particular list and uh, yeah it sorts uh, like it sorts ascendingly so the like smallest value is onto the zeroth index and the maximum value is onto the nth index if uh, there are n elements into that particular list so uh, this l7 dot sort will basically sort the elements which are stored into this particular list so uh, it's going to store 20 on position 1 so i'm recreating this it's not get uh, it's it will not get okay let me let me not recreate it let me just remove the elements which are stored over here so it's going to store 20 in here 14 here and 15 here just like that and yeah so this is how it basically works then comes a uh, system dot debug uh, should not debug is okay we know this method right but uh, let's talk about the next method of list which is is empty so is empty method is basically used to identify that whether there is any element into this list or not it's going to return a boolean value if there are no elements into this particular list then in that case it's going to return a true and if there are elements into this list then in that case it's going to return false so currently we've got elements in l7 right we've got three elements so if we'll call l7 dot is empty what it's going to return tell me false obviously so it's like it will return false and after that we've got another method which basically helps us to clear all the elements that are there in that, in that particular list which is clear and what clear does is so if we'll call l7 dot clear what will happen it's gonna remove all the elements and it's gonna like assign a it's gonna have a list which has no values and now if we'll call l7 dot is empty what's gonna be the output or what it's gonna return tell me true or false true because there are no elements into the l7 list and that's all what you need to understand or th th these are all the methods that i think you should know about when it comes to list class or list collection